Hey, what's going on guys? Be really good to be here, back with another video, and I'm actually still laughing after running this deck. So I'm deciding today to do a kind of a particularly trolley deck, which I'm sure most of you are aware of already. Um, it is kind of based on special summoning Bahamut Shark, and then using his effects to bring on an Acid Golem, and then creature swapping it with your opponent. <laughs> so they take lots of burn damage. So this particular variant uh, revolves around XYZ Remora. I've been running it for a few days now, and it's just hilarious. I know, I, I've just had a particularly funny deal where the opponent eventually realised how futile his attempts to do anything were, and he just sort of scooped. <laughs> so uh, it was quite funny indeed. Anyway, uh, so the build revolves around XYZ or more, but also Rescue Rabbit, because you want to bring out level 4 fishies, <laughs> and uh, to use the fishies to do various, you know, hilarious things. Plus XYZ or more allows you to special summon two fishies from the graveyard. Yes, I'm going to keep saying fishies. <laughs> Okay, so we got three seven color fish and three space mambo. Um, simply because he looks funky. Also, he's you know they're the two best level four fish fishies <laughs> in the game right now. Uh, we have the Torgan engine and Sangin because of course you're running rescue rabbit and you want to be able to go into Levier to special summon, you know the fishies back to the field. Uh, and you have the Knight of Silence, of course. Two rescue rabbits, uh, three template goldfish, which I cannot believe we don't have yet. He's just so awesome. Plus he's cute and you know. Funky looking. He's the kind of fish you'd see if you were like tripping or something. Tripping on acid golem. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, three XYZ Remora. So, for those of you who don't know what this card does, you can special summon this card from your hand by detaching two XYZ materials from a monster you control. And when you do, you can target two level 4 fish type monsters in your graveyard, uh, such as the ones you just detached. Special summon those targets in face of, face of defense position. Their effects are negated and cannot change their battle positions or attack. Also, they cannot be used as XYZ materials except for the XYZ summon of a water monster, which doesn't really affect you at all in this particular occasion. So, what you would typically do, let's say you set a Tim Plate Goldfish face down, your opponent attacks into it. Next turn, you draw into like a Rescue Rabbit or something. To, to be honest with you, if you can manage to keep a level 4 monster on the field, uh, you're doing extremely well. Because it allows you to do all sorts of crazy plays. So basically what you do is you would summon the Rescue Rabbit, you would special summon two Space Mammos or whatever, you would overlay all three of them into Shark Drake, uh, you would attack, you would special summon another monster um, if you destroy one of your opponent's monsters. If you don't, you can special summon an XYZ or more from your hand and special summon two more fishes, and then you have three level fours again, you go to another Shark Drake, and, and then times the number of XYZ or more as you have in your hand, you can do it that many number of times. But eventually you end up going into Bahamut Shark, you say you have like two Shark Drakes and a Bahamut Shark on the field. And uh, then of course you bring in the Acid Golem and then you activate Creature Swap and then your opponent just scoops. <laughs> well no, I mean it's not kind of a given that once they have the Acid Golem they're going to lose. But the likelihood is that with you bringing up big beaters and special summoning the monsters back to the field with lower attack points and doing the damage for a couple of turns, it's likely that they're not going to be able to come back from it. Uh, as regards to the spells, we have three creature swaps because it's amazing in this deck. That's basically what the deck is built around. There are plenty of other variants as well, as I've said, but all of them involve creature swap, trust me. Uh, so you also have Monster Reborn, Heavy Storm, Dark Hole, three MSTs because you don't want anything to get in your way of this happening. Uh, generation, uh, generation Force because you're going to be XYZing a lot and you can add XYZ Remora from your deck to your hand because it is considered an XYZ card. So that's what makes it particularly good in this deck. Uh, for the traps, I kind of just made them up myself. I didn't look at any particular builds. I just went with the standard traps. Two bottomless trap elves, two deep prisons, Psalm Brigade, and two torrential tributes. So if anyone has any other ideas for traps, or if there's any traps that I'm kind of missing, please let me know. Uh, as for the extra deck, we have Abyss Dweller. Two copies of a Hammond Shark, because he's kind of absolutely necessary in this deck. Levier, Maestro, Leviathan Dragon, who is another target if you've already used the effect once to bring out an Acid Golem. Two Acid Golems, of course. <laughs> uh, two Shark Drakes. Utopia, uh, Zemains, uh, Giga Brilliant. I'm kind of thinking of the other cards that I can put in. Maybe another Leviathan Dragon. Because if you bring out one and you want to bring out the other. If you draw a tour guide, like late game or something. Although I don't suspect this would get to late game, really, to be honest with you. It's just one of these fun trolley decks. Um, as I said, I didn't kind of create this deck out of nothing. It's sort of been dancing around the internet for a while now. For a few months at least, I would say. So let me know what you think of this particular variant, and let me know if you've ever run any particularly trolley decks yourself. If you have, uh, post the deck list if possible in the comment section below, or just kind of the description of the deck and what its basic purpose was. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. Uh, if you're looking for the official thread thread on this deck, it's called uh, Trippin' on Acid Golem. Uh, the official thread, the official guide to Bahamut Acid Burn. So, you know, be sure to check that out, and it's got a lot of cool little tips. 
One thing that I didn't put in, in the deck was actually Mystic Box. You know, it's kind of like Creature Swap, except you destroy uh, the opponent's monster and give the control give control of your monster to the opponent. So you basically destroy the monster that they had, and then you give them the Acid Golem, and they just sort of, you know, face palm or whatever. So uh, to all those space mambos out there, I bid you adieu. Peace out.